somehow he's managed to avoid the emotions for quite some time. Why do you think that is? I, I think, personally, that um, it's because he serves alcohol to those that are scrutinizing him. And um, that tends to ease off on the scrutinization of things, right? Alcohol, maybe. Hello and welcome back to Mash Plays The Dream Machine. When we last left off, we were doing odd jobs around the ship, you know, helping all the Victor Nefs out that, that need help. And um, then we uh, were assigned a job to be, be a detective Neff. And uh, we're going to figure out what happened to the missing Neff. You know, it's a big mystery. Um, what I think is the tentacle monster got to him and, um, yeah, yeah, murdered him or ate him or did something weird. But anyway, that's where we are. Let's, uh, let's go forth and, and ponder. I think head servant is very sus. Wasn't. Right, there was one that shared a bunk with him. I think it is the head servant, right? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm investigating the disappearance of Victor Eleven. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind. Shoot. Um, how well did you know Victor Eleven? I knew him quite well, I, I guess. Uh, we, we've shared cabins for the last couple of months. Which cabin would that be? Uh, cabin 2, right around the corner. I'd like to check out where he lived. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have the key, would you? As strange as it might sound, I seem to have forgotten where I put it. Where you put your own damn key to your own cabin. That's not, that's not very good. No one you just sat out here. Pondering the meaning of life, Neff. Maybe you can do something for me to jog my memory, of course. There's this guy down in the kitchen. Uh, Victor84. Um, he's just a prep chef, but for some reason he thinks he's got the right to boss my waiters around. If you can find some way to teach that guy a lesson, I might be able to remember where I put the key. Well, that doesn't sound like it will jog your memory whatsoever. That sounds like you're just trying to get me to do something for you. You could have, you, when I was offering to do anything for you, you could have said, do, do this weird prank on, on Victor Neff 84. You know, what type of lesson? Something that says that don't mess with the weight stuff. Okay. Okay. Um. How do I do that? Frankly, I don't want to know. All right. I'll do it. Great. Uh, come back once it's done and I'll give you the key. <laughs> now that sounds super sus. I don't trust this guy, Victor Seven. You, you're top of the list. You, you've even beaten uh, Captain's aid. Um, when was the last time you saw him? Last night, around nine or ten. Where was that? Uh, in our cabin, as I was coming back from a shift, he was freshening up. Uh, said he was meeting with someone on the sun deck. Who? I don't know, but he seemed pretty antsy. Got himself perfumed to the gills. So naturally, I thought he was seeing some skirt from the passenger section. You didn't ask? We're not allowed to consult with passengers. But if one of us does, I tend to look the other way. What happened next? I tried to cover his morning shift, thinking he was off on cloud nine. But when he didn't show up for lunch, I started to suspect something was wrong. What did you do then? Uh, by then his absence had been noted by others. 
I didn't tell anybody about the meeting because I thought it would look bad on his permanent record. I see. Do you have reason to believe he wanted to leave the ship? He never mentioned that to me, and we were pretty close. Uh, did he seem unhappy about something? I wouldn't say that. Uh, he seemed preoccupied lately, but uh, definitively not unhappy. Preoccupied with what? I don't know. He never told me. Did he have any enemies on board? Why'd you ask? Well, he's disappeared, my guy. It's like the prime question. Just, you know. It's the go-to one. Any sus, right? Do you think somebody wanted to get rid of him? I'm just trying to be thorough. How can you make enemies on a Sunday? I don't know. Maybe he got smooth with somebody's wife, you know? Uh, I suppose that's possible, but he always seems so professional. That is all. See you later then. Maybe it's... He just got traumatized from seeing Alicia give birth on the sun deck in the previous stream. When she gave birth to um, that guy. <laughs> I forgot his name. Um, he's dead now, so I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go in here. And talk to the, the bus boy. Hello, bus boy. I'm investigating the disappearance of Victor Eleven. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? I was afraid this might happen. Why'd you say that? Uh, when I heard he was missing this morning, I got a bad feeling. I, like, I knew something was wrong. Uh, hearing the captain's ordered an investigation confirms that. He hasn't just missed the shift anymore. He's gone. That's still to be decided. Um, what do you know about this disappearance? Um, what do you want to know? Tell me about Victor Eleven. How well did you know him? Hardly at all. I bumped into him every once in a while when bussing tables at the sun deck, but that's pretty much it. Um, did he have any other problems I should know about? His life was sunshine and butterflies until he went missing. If you know anything, you're more than welcome to contribute. Um, I'm sorry, but the last guy I told went missing, so I'm a bit reluctant confiding in others. Uh, let me guess, you want me to do something for you first? Nothing like that. Uh, you don't gain somebody's trust by submitting yourself as their errand boy. Then how? Prove to me that you don't think I'm crazy. Prove to me that there's a conspiracy going on on board and I'll reconsider trusting you. So I need to prove a conspiracy theory in order to gain your trust. What if there is no conspiracy theory and you are just crazy? Hmm? Uh, did Victor Eleven ever mention leaving the ship? Not before he knew what was going on on board. Um, what would that be? That's what we've been trying to figure out. Did he have any enemies on board? Given the circumstances, don't you think that's likely? Uh, he still might come back. Your optimism is touching. Okay. Tell me more about the circumstances of his disappearance. When was the last time you saw him? He came to me during a break and asked if I would be in my cabin later that evening. He said he found something he wanted to show me. What did he want to show? I don't know. He never turned up. Um, what did he do on the night of his disappearance? I went to bed listening to the radio. Uh, did you see or hear anything out of the ordinary? As I was drifting off into sleep, I thought I heard raised voices outside the cabin. I peeked through the porthole to see what was the fuss was about and... 
Uh, it was just Victor 11 in the head serve and Victor 7. And they were engaging in another one of their arguments. What about? I didn't listen, frankly. Uh, they don't like each other, but I had to make the best of a bad situation. How did you find out he was missing? I thought it was strange that he didn't show up last night. I thought I might have fallen asleep and missed him knocking. But when they paged him over the PA system this morning, I got this sinking feeling in my stomach like I knew something was wrong. Did you report it? It was just a feeling and his absence had already been noted. Oh my god. Tell me about the other crew members, particularly... The head servant, Victor Seven. <laughs> Between you and me, I consider him too stupid to be a threat. What was his relationship with to Victor Eleven? They didn't get along and were constantly butting heads. Uh, what did they argue about? Mainly small day-to-day -day things. Somebody used the other's aftershave or stepped in the other's bunk with shoes on. Uh, that type of stuff. I mean, as, as they're like a married couple. So they know each other very well, I guess. Now, uh, the bartender, Victor Five. Everybody knows he's a rubbish bartender. I don't know how he does it, but somehow he's managed to avoid demotions for quite some time. Why do you think that is? I, I think, personally, that um, it's because he serves alcohol to those that are scrutinizing him, and um, that tends to ease off on the scrutinization of things, right? Alcohol, maybe. Um, he's crafty. Back when he worked below deck, I heard he was suspected of framing a young cadet in order to take credit for his work. Nothing could be proved, so the case was dropped. Uh, two months later, he was promoted to head of cabin services. But lately, his luck seems to be running out. How come? Uh, he's failed to deliver a drink order to the captain on more than one occasion. It's hard to blame that on somebody else. Uh, I guess he's run out of cadets to manipulate. I guess. That makes sense. When you're at the top of the chain, you can't really yank someone else's chain anymore, can you? Um, uh, the captain's aide, Victor Three. That guy wants a command position so badly, he's waiting right outside the door. Um, isn't that his job, my guy? What was his relationship with to Victor Eleven? Uh, they don't socialize. The captain's aide is only interested in being friends with people above his station. Fair enough. <clears throat> Fair enough. Um, has the captain ever interacted with him? Um, with the things that go on board, I'm sure she's the only reason I'm still on this ship. She holds her guiding hand over me. What things would that be? There's something wrong with this place. Can't you feel it? Like what? I've said too much already. Wait. That's the exact same thing that you told me before, my guy. Um, I think I've exhausted all these, right? Yeah. Circumstances of his disappearance. Let's see. Yeah, we've 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 done them. We've done all these. Yeah, that's all. Thank you. You're a very useless source of information. We have figured some things out from that, right? That, um, you weren't very, uh, close to anybody, apparently. Especially this guy. Victor Seven. Right, so, let's look through the portal. Absolutely nothing suspicious in there. No body or anything, you know? Right, so, we got... 
this guy and we've also got to interact with like uh victor neff 84 in the kitchen somehow let's talk to the bartender i'm investigating the disappearance of victor 11. do you mind if i ask you a few questions so the captain's made you a little snitch has she what no i'm not a snitch I'm just kidding, Spot. Ask away. Okay. Tell me about Victor Eleven. How well did you know him? Well enough. Uh, we weren't bosom buddies or anything, but we got along fine. We had a a occasional tough disputes when a guest from the sun deck caused problems at the bar and vice versa. Um, nothing serious. Did he drink a lot? He came here for the occasional shot every now and then, um, if he had a rough shift. I never saw him flat out drunk though. He drank on duty? Ah, uh, that's commonplace aboard cruise ships. And what else is there to do? Go dancing? Stay here long enough and you'll start doing it as well. Ah, uh, won't the passengers smell it on you? Uh, that's why they've invented breath mint. And the most of them are way more sauce than we are anyway. What a guy. Um, <laughs> did he have any other problems I should know about? You mean substance abuse? That's pretty rare among the service staff. They test us, you see. Uh, the guys down in engineering, though, they're always high on something. And who can blame them, right? I mean, yeah, I've, I've heard rumors, to be fair. Did Victor Eleven ever mention leaving the ship? He fought hard to be promoted to the Sun Deck service. Competition for top deck positions is fierce. There's no way he'd throw that away. Fair enough. Um, tell me about the circumstances of his disappearance. When was the last time you saw him? He came here to the bar late last night. Uh, stood just about where you're standing now. Had, had a few drinks, torn of wine after his shift. Um, did he talk to anyone at the bar? Uh, he said hi to some passengers. But uh, aside from that, he was alone. Uh, it seemed like he was waiting for someone. Who? Don't know. Nobody showed up. Did he drink enough to become impaired in any way? Could he have fallen overboard? That sounds unlikely to me. Uh, he walked straight as an arrow when he left. Uh, when was that? Uh, about 11 or 12. Was there anything that seemed strange about him last night? Not that I recall. Uh, he stood there, doodling away on a napkin. Uh, what did he draw? Uh, something that might be related to what you're looking for. He's drawn the tentacle, hasn't he? Uh, you can have it, but first there's something I need you to help me with. What now? Ever since I came on board, the captain's been asking me to make her a Bloody Mary. But because of the rationing, some ingredients are not impossible to get hold of. Bro, well, what do you want me to do about it? Uh, make me a Bloody Mary and I'll give you the napkin. I mean, why is this drink so important? I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'm next in line for a command position. You've probably heard rumors about it. Uh, fulfilling this drink order might be the thing that pushes me over the golden line. Uh, do me this favor and I might be able to pull some strings for you once I'm on the bridge. Sounds fair, I guess. Thanks. Uh, this really means a lot to me. Of course. Uh... Victor 11, we're on this one now. What did you do on the night of his disappearance? I was working here pretty much all night. 
Did you hear or see anything out of the ordinary? Uh, there were a few lingering passengers, so I got off a little bit later than usual. Uh, when did you get off? Half one, I'd say. Um, what did you do once your shift was over? I went to my cabin and decompressed while listening to music. Um, you didn't hear anything out of the ordinary during that time? I fell asleep pretty quickly. Weren't they arguing or something? Maybe I'm, I'm confusing the nefs. It's very hard to keep track. Um, how did you find out he was missing? I heard some passengers arguing over chair bookings as I woke up. Some passengers like to have breakfast on the sun deck. Uh, it can get pretty crowded sometimes. I remember thinking that I didn't envy Victor Eleven his job. When was that? Probably around 9 o'clock. Is that when you knew he was missing? No, but his absence seemed a bit strange. Uh, he has to sort these things out, but I couldn't hear him that morning. Ten minutes later, they paged him over the PA system, but I just thought he'd overslept or something. But did he do that occasionally? Not once that I can recall. 